hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing good so today i'm going to start with a new series here so i'll be starting with laravel with view so i'll try to keep these tutorials very basic so they will be easy to understand so first tutorial that i'm going to start with how you can install view in laravel so let's get started with today's video so i have installed a newly fresh laravel project so in this i'll show you composer so here you can see right now laravel all the details you can find it here so now firstly to install view we need to install laravel ui basically laravel ui is a package that will be containing view and other stuff also for authentication so for installing view we need first this package so you can see using command composer require laravel ui it's installed now we will be installing view so for that write command php artisan ui view so view is installed and after that you can see it's saying that uh, run command npm install and npm run dev so now let's run command npm install so it's uh, running so it will take some time let it run now we need to run second command npm run dev so you can see we started here and you can see it's giving the url on which server is running so let's so open the url so you can see welcome page of beat is open so you can find all these configuration and how welcome page is loaded in beat.config.js you can find it outside all like folders so here you can see in configuration app.scs is used app.js is used so now let me show you folder structure of view how it will be in laravel so now let's go to js folder and here you can see one component app.js bootstrap.js all these are view files one component you can see example component.view so that's the example component that is created for sample here and after that app.js where your view app will be like initialized and also bootstrap.js that having axios and all that stuff so next i'll show you how you can load your view component in laravel like website front and side so now let's go to welcome.blade.php and let's remove that's a welcome page of laravel and here we will be using here view component so firstly create one dev with id app and inside that i'll be calling my component that is example component so write example component also close with example component it will be like an element you will be calling so for loading js and css we will be using beat blade directive it's like same like you use another directive like for each and if all these use similar way beat also at the rate beat and inside that we will be passing our path till js and css so that will be an array so right first one will be resources then now uh, it will be js inside that i'm having my app.js second css so for css also resources slash so path is css and inside css app.css so only these two changes in welcome you need to do firstly include your js and css and second is use your component here inside app dev so now let's run the server php artisan serve and now let's go to browser open the url and here you can see example component is loaded so there is one semicolon coming let me see okay after week i have added so let me just remove it and now refresh there you can see it's removed now this one is loading using npm run dev and this one is using php artisan so so now let me just quickly summarize here you can see example component and inside that you are having some devs and how you can load it you can load using example component name of your component like an element you can load and that will be inside id app now app.css and all this you can use using beat blade directive and inside app.js you can see create app is there that is and also example component is loaded and is app is using component so you can add the last you can see app.mount so it's creating new app and here we are defining our div with id app 
so that's why the same id we need to define in our view so in this video i have shown you how you can install view and i have shown you how you can use your component inside laravel so i hope you like this video if you have doubt related to this topic then you can comment down in the comment section so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel